Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial and today we have this cool uh, website design uh, for a catalog for mobiles and it's like an e-commerce website. Without further ado, let's just get started. So we'll start with picking the Win web 1920 by 1080 artboard and I'm going to rename this to uh, home. Uh, I will turn on layout from the grid option right here and as you can see I have a basic layout set up okay so I'll take the rectangle tool and I'll create my first prop which is on the left I want um, a basic menu right here very simple very straightforward and uh, I'll make sure that the width is 160 pixels uh, I'll just remove this layout from here and 160 pixels that's fine and I'll give this this dark almost charcoal gray a bluish charcoal gray if you may and um, color and I will quickly log this and forget it <laughs> um, now we will create the cards where the mobiles will fit so I want a rectangle and uh, I'll just make a basic rectangle first and I'll then change the dimensions uh, so for this rectangle we want a width of whatever this is divided by three. So I'll uh, increase the width to uh, increase it to the full width. And here in the width in the width section, 1760 divided by three. This is a quick tip. You can do maths uh, inside Adobe XD as well. So divided by three. Once so that is the dimension and uh, that should perfectly have three of these cards uh, side by side and perfect yeah so that the maths thing really works uh, so uh, first of all I will give this the gradient that I require uh, which is this and I will adjust the gradient a little bit I will also be giving this Adobe XD file uh, down in the description there will be a download link so you can just go ahead and download it and start up and I wanted something like that perfect and um, I'll just delete these two and I'll remove the border from here and uh, rather than uh, copying and pasting here I will use repeat grid from here I'll just uh, activate it and drag these handles perfect and from top to bottom as well oops sorry top to bottom perfect and the good thing about repeat grid is you can change uh, the spacing between each card here so I'll just drag the spacing like this and make sure it's zero perfect and the spacing uh, laterally as well so this will be uh, about zero perfect um, and I will make sure uh, I will ungroup this grid so now we have uh, a, a whole grid of cards right here now um, now I will start placing the uh, mobiles for the mobiles I have I'll just pick it from the original design right here these are basically images and we will bring it right here so this is the first image and I will use a mask to make sure that it cuts out uh, so I will use the same dimension card and I will put it make sure that this card is above the mobile and select the mobile and the card both and say command shift M to mask it make sure this is um, I'm sorry yeah uh, select this mobile and just drag it up a little bit so make sure it's slightly towards the top perfect and now what I want to do is I want to give this mobile a heading and um, oops okay uh, yeah so the heading should be uh, galaxy in capitals all capitals galaxy s uh, 10 plus I hope this is how it <laughs> it's there yeah so basically I'm using a Cerebri Sans semi bold and I've given the text a little bit of border just to make it a little more thick um, and I will place it right here make sure there's 32 pixels in size semi bold cerebri sans you can use any font by the way 
uh, but preferably a uh, sans serif will do the job best and the title will be here and now we will be placing uh, our description text which will describe the features of the phone a little bit so uh, make sure it's um, make sure it is uh, right size first so we first we want to showcase the size and I want I've already saved the style here so Cerebri Sans 18 points now what we'll do we'll remove the border so it's not very thick perfect and uh, I want this to be slightly bolder perfect I have the style saved here and uh, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna double click and press enter and what was the size of the phone in the original design 6.4 inches so right now we're just gonna randomly write whatever we want it's uh, 6.4 inches and I'll make this, uh, I'll select this text and make this a regular font. Perfect. And that is what we want. Uh, make sure that it is 40 pixels from the phone. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. And uh, so this font should, this text should be 40 pixels from the phone as well. So one, two, three, four. Maybe uh, 20 will do. Perfect. Uh, size 6.4 inches and um, I'll just duplicate this and edit this make sure there's a difference of five pixels between the text between each category so here I will say resolution and I'll just fill in a bunch of uh, data so that it's uh, the des whole design seems more relevant and uh, I will um, cut to the portion where I've filled everything in so uh, now I have, as you can see, I've filled in all the information and I've also filled in more devices right here. And here I've created this dummy, kind of these dummy cards to display just uh, empty data. Um, so this is set. Now we need to place the buttons here. Uh, the buttons will be uh, basic rectangles, which we'll place something like this. And the size, uh, you can adjust based on what you like. I have 130 by 40 height, 40 height and 130 width. Perfect. And I want this to be again 40 from the text here. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so two from the text, one, two. And uh, I, I'll remove the border and I will give it a border radius of eight pixels. Perfect. And I will give this the same uh, theme color for Samsung right here. And I will, I want to write here, no more. Now we're focusing on no more because uh, before buying the user does want to know more about what product he's buying. And I will also give a add to cart button, which is again, I don't want to focus too much on that. Uh, so no more button is semi bold against Cerebri Sands and uh, 12 pixels in size right here. Uh, and I want to give this uh, button a bit of shadow, which will be the same color as the button color. And I want it to be, um, you know, I want it to be 50% uh, opacity, 12 for the Y axis and 24 uh, for the uh, for the blur for the spread so that's pretty pretty nice it looks uh, really nice and it, it gives a bit of depth to the whole design as well and I will just group this and I will make another button right next to it which will be basically you know what I'm just gonna delete this I'm just gonna copy this button right here just like that and make sure there's a difference of five pixels between them five perfect and I will remove the shadow and give this uh, like a light uh, grayish, bluish grayish color. Uh, something like that. Perfect. So that is what I want to have right here. And you can, you can change uh, how much difference there is, 5 to 10, that's fine. Uh, so 10 pixels from this button. And I, uh, rather than saying no more, I want to say um, add to cart just like that and I'll give this a like a 
uh, dark gray and reduce the opacity to 50% and that's okay that's fine perfect so uh, I'll just place it in the center of this button and group it perfect so I'm just gonna copy these buttons uh, all over the place and uh, I'll cut to where you know I've placed all these buttons so now that I have placed all these buttons this design is finally coming to life so we have a bit of uh, call to action added to our design and now I want to finally add things to my uh, dashboard or the menu on the left uh, so I've saved all the things right here in the symbols panel and I will drag everything one by one so this is the menu which is uh set to a slightly turquoise green which is again the theme color and from the top i want it to be 60 pixels from the top so one two three four five six perfect and below that we will have uh, icons of different brands uh first of all will be apple because that is a uh, the most widely used brand uh, so from the menu i want it uh, 40 pixels so one two three four or maybe 60 pixels, five, six. <laughs> okay, uh, and I will also place a basic line uh, just below it, just to separate the brands. And I, uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, the width is set to 94, and the border, it should be white. And I'll set it to 25%, yeah, perfect. 25% opacity, white and uh, this should again be 40 pixels from the apple icon so one two three four perfect and just right below that i will place the samsung uh, icon right here in the center and 40 pixels difference from the line and um, again samsung is white uh, no redu reduction of opacity here because i want because this is the page for samsung and in fact let's add a highlight for this uh, selection so that we know it has been selected and the high uh, just remove the border from this rectangle and i will give this this turquoise green color and make sure that re uh, i reduce the opacity to 50 percent and i'll place it behind the samsung logo that's perfect and uh, again uh, bring this line which is uh, separating all these icons copy it over and place it 40 pixels below this perfect um, and now I'll place all the other icons one by one just like that and I'll cut to that okay so I have placed all the icons uh, right below each other all the brands that I want um, 40 pixels difference between the lines and the icons and the icons and the lines <laughs> and I've also given this little uh, profile at the bottom just to make sure that the person who's using it is able to log in and sign in or whatever and um, behind this i've given a rectangle with a gradient and the gradient goes from this uh, gray to a transparent uh, just to make sure that the user knows something is hiding be uh, right below it so he, he's gonna scroll to see uh, whatever other brands there are I'll create a circle which is uh, again 100 by 100 I want it to be 100 by 100 that's what I want it to be and I'll give this the brand the whole uh, website color and I'll give this the shadow this the shadow should be uh, this dark blue which is the Samsung theme which fits perfectly with this background as well and I want it to be 50% opacity 12 by 24 perfect uh, maybe I'll give it um, slight more spread so 48 perfect and uh, reduce the opacity to 25 yes that's the kind of uh, you know shadow I want and above this I will place uh, you know this icon which I have uh, actually in, uh, downloaded from flat icons that's my go-to for downloading icons for such uh, pet projects and I uh, I'll draw a circle at the edge uh, just to make sure that the user knows that I have something in um, the cart you know it's like a little notification at the top just to notify the user that there is something in the cart and I want to place it let's see uh, one two three four five six from the bottom and one two three four five 
there you go. That was so quick and it looks so clean. Uh, I won't say it's a masterpiece, but it surely looks good. And if I view it, see how clean it looks and it looks very usable. I hope you really liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon to receive my videos in your notifications. And also go ahead and like this video. Uh, I'll really appreciate that as well. And I will see you every Monday and Thursday on this channel which, with a brand new video.